is two pots of my roommate's bathroom. It's been an awesome day, and I'm so happy you've come to join me. Baby, it's cold. So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to tie a tie. <laughs> the doctor said it was infected, mom. I know why you're watching this video right now. It's because you don't know how to tie a tie. Please, part of the bar. Don't be embarrassed. It only took me 30 years to learn how to tie a tie. I'm very late. So one day I decided to buy a mini pizza and uh, still sauce in there. And then I ate the pizza. Bought this thing for two bucks. Two dollars. It's not even a pumpkin. I don't even know why I bought this. But I finally learned how to tie a tie. And because I love you guys so much, I am going to share my technique with you. So here we go. First, you're gonna begin by taking a piece of tape about this long and placing it around your neck. Next, you're gonna grab your tie. I like to keep my ties in very protected locations. Locations. For example, the time I'm using today is going to be uh, found inside of this owl. There it is. This little guy's been in my microwave for about six months now, preparing for this moment. See, I got my tie right here, and it's not tied. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna tie it. So, first, you're gonna grab your tie. You stay right there. Don't move. So, first, you're gonna take your tie, you're gonna put it in your cooler. You're gonna zip up the cooler, woo, and just gently place it in your freezer for about six months. about it turning on fire anymore. So now we can begin tying our tie. This is honestly my favorite part. Ladies and germs, for this next part, you're gonna wanna slip off those Gucci flip-flops. Ah! I am this close to adopting a snapping turtle. Like, it, I'm this close, it's about to happen. I touched my ceiling, I'm so tall. Oh, I always sniff the dirty dishes before I do this. I don't know why. My mom still clips my toenails and I'm 24 years old, so. Please don't tell anyone, but right after I film this video, I'm gonna go outside and chop down a tree with this pot. I still don't know how to dab. So next, we're gonna take our magic bullet. If you don't have this, use a blender. What's 31 in Spanish? Frente uno, what's up? I just learned that in Spanish class. Spanish one, what? My poor little owl is still missing an eye. Where did it go? We are boycotting cups, so this is how we drink our water in this household. You're gonna take one egg, you're gonna crack it, once, just like this. You're not gonna crack it twice, not three times, you're gonna crack it once and put the whole entire thing into your cup. You're gonna take this thing, I can't think of the name of it right now. You're gonna cut the... Oh! It kinda looks like a pumpkin inside, it's really orange. And you're going to, you're gonna put it in there. I found the peanut butter crunch! He's actually, he's not wearing a tie. Take a handful of cat and crunch, put it in your cup. And what's the best liquid to eat your cereal with? Come on, our five year olds can answer this. So so you're gonna pour a little bit of soda in here. Look how beautiful that looks. It's just bubbling up with joy. And then you're gonna open up your local newspaper and find a Burger King ad. You're gonna rip it up. You're gonna just take a sheet about this size, about the width of my head, and you're gonna also squeeze it into that cup. Woo! Johnny, it's too dry. That's what I thought. I'm gonna add the milk. Moisten your mixture up just a tiny bit by adding some milk. Woo! You're just gonna add a tiny little pinch of salt. There we go. Some hot sauce. I lost a nostril once due to some really spicy hot sauce. It wasn't fun. I went to the emergency room for five weeks. You're gonna cut it with your scissors or with your teeth if your teeth are that sharp. Seriously, I was not born with sharp teeth. Okay, so I have to use scissors. Give me a break. I'm not perfect. Alright, so you're gonna, you're gonna cut your tie right there. Woo! Hey, look, I cut my tie all by myself. Told you I could use scissors, mom. Okay, oh man. They don't teach you this in school, kids. I cut my tie into like about 20 pieces. I'm just gonna keep cutting. Trust me, you're probably like, Josh, why are you cutting a tie up? Why am I gonna ruin my tie? Just keep watching the video. You're just gonna keep cutting up your tie until you have like 10 different pieces, okay? So you're gonna take a few of your samples of your tie, you're gonna throw it into your mixture. Oh man, I've never seen a mixture this nice before. My roommate's gonna kill me for doing this to his magic bullet. Then you're just gonna close it up. Ah, it's nothing like the smell of a fresh cut tie. And now we let it blend. Something smells burned. I don't know what that smell is, but it doesn't smell healthy. <laughs> and it's done! Whoa! It smells like a tie. Whoa. And our tail goes right there. You're probably asking yourself, Josh, why didn't everything blend? Because it wasn't supposed to blend, baby. So now we're gonna take the blend and we're gonna tape the whole entire thing up. This is so easy, guys. Seriously, every tutorial on YouTube has been so confusing. Look, the whole entire top is covered. And now just simply put your mixture into your refrigerator. Simply just keep it in there for about 97 to maybe 129.5 hours. Around that, yeah. And now it's time to take it out of your refrigerator. There it is, whoa! And now the moment of truth. When I wrap this, we should have a perfectly tied tie for you and your loved ones. It's like opening a Christmas gift. A chemical reaction! Oh, guys, wow. Whoa. Not a drip left, it worked. The colors even changed. Tell me this is not the greatest tie ever tied in your life. Check this out, look at this detail. Think you can teach me how to tie a tie? You're right. Look at this. Just toss it over your neck. <laughs> and that's how you tie a 
tie! It's so much easier than all those other tutorials you've been watching. I'm gonna go take a bath right now wearing nothing but my tie. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, please. I would so appreciate that. And I want you to leave a comment in the comments box letting me know what you want me to teach you how to do next time. Because my name is Josh, and I know how to do pretty much everything. So if there's anything you don't know what to do, just hit me up in the comments below, and I'll teach you. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys later. Peace.